Okay, now that you're logged in, here's a few things that can help you use your Chromebook best. Right here in the bottom right hand corner is your status information. It has the date and the time, your battery life, and also your Wi-Fi. If you click on it, you will see your shutdown button, your sign out button, if you're on the Wi-Fi, if your Bluetooth's on, and also your settings. Up here in the top, you also see things that you've recently been doing and any updates that are going to get pushed through by technology. If you click on settings, you'll be able to change things like your um, networks, if you need to switch to a different Wi-Fi, if you want to um, change the settings for your device, like the touchpad or the keyboard, um, you can personalize it, you can change your wallpaper, you can change your login image, all kinds of stuff. In the bottom left-hand corner is your launcher. This is where most of your apps and extensions will be stored. To put more than what you currently have on your launcher, you're going to open up the Play Store. In the Play Store, there's a few things that everybody can add. QR readers, Photoshop apps, Google Classroom, Word, Libby, so you can read eBooks, and OneDrive. Any of those you can automatically click on and click install. Once it installs, then it will automatically show up in your launcher. Some other ways that you can add apps and extensions is to go to the web store. The web store is where you have even more options available. It'll first be highlighted for WCPS. These are the ones that have already all been approved. So you'll be able to put those in automatically. When you click on one you want, you'll be able to add it to Chrome. It might show up here, or it'll just take you directly to the website. Down here at the bottom is your shelf. This is where you can automatically save things that are links to your Chrome browser that you'll want to be able to open really quickly. The way that you'll do that is you can be in a web page that you know you want to save. Go over here to the three dots, click on more tools, and then create shortcut. The shortcut will be created and you'll find it in your launcher. There it is. Now all you have to do is hold down on your touchpad and drag it down to the shelf. If you don't want it there, same thing. Hold down your touchpad and drag it back up. 